Hey everyone and welcome to this week's Tech Weekly. I'm going to be changing a few things up in this episode, so be sure to tell me if you like it or not. So let's just start off with the story of the week. So the story of the week is the OnePlus 3T is going to be coming out. And it's basically there to kind of rip off OnePlus 3 owners by giving them a better phone than they could have got, but they didn't get. So basically this thing's going to be $80 more than the previous phone, but it's going to be a lot better than it. So it's going to have the Snapdragon 421 processor in it which is faster than the last generation. And this was confirmed by both Snapdragon and OnePlus in Twitter posts, so we know that's coming. And in other stories, there was three Xiaomi, Redmi phone things that were announced. And basically the first one is the 4S, which has got pretty much baseline specs, but it's $79, which is pretty much a steal. There's one with slightly better specs, which is $104, and one with even better specs than those slightly better specs, $133. All of these have really nice designs, they've all got a metal body, and they've all got that back fingerprint sensor that you see in pretty much all new Android phones nowadays. And the University of California has basically made a way for us to keep getting better phones every year, so we don't keep complaining after companies don't keep improving their phones. So they've basically taken semiconductors out of micro transistors or whatever it is in phones that make them basically work. And I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going to be able to explain this video as well as this video is going to be explaining it, which by the way I'm pointing down to the description to watch the video. So I'll let them explain it for you. GoPro is apparently getting karma for giving me earwig during their karma release and that was just a pretty bad joke, wasn't it? Oh. I'm only kidding by the way, I actually really enjoyed the event. But yeah, they're basically recalling 2,500 of their drones, which isn't too much to be honest. And they're doing this because some of them just kind of lost power in the sky and just fell out of the sky. And obviously this is very dangerous because it could have landed on someone, it almost did land on someone, so... Yeah, it's good that they're recalling all of these drones and they're just offering refunds at the moment, they're not offering exchanges. Because they need to basically resolve the problem first before they start giving exchanges and stuff. And Samsung has painted a folding phone, and I'm not talking about like the old style kind of flip phone things, I'm talking about like where the screen like physically folds, and it's like a bendable display kind of thing. So looking at the patent, there's kind of two good reasons why they're not doing this. One is because the patent just looks pretty bad at the moment, like the whole design of it. And two is because if they rush into anything, as we saw with the Note 7, then bad things can happen. And that actually transitions quite well into the quickfire story. So the first one is that there's a Play Store UI update where there's basically like a bigger install bar and stuff. The second one is that Samsung's going to be getting its own personal assistant and I'm not talking about the rubbish one from before that was on some phones. I'm talking about the Viv, which is by the Siri creators and that should be coming to the S8. Android Nougat has actually got the ability to take partial screenshots and it's actually buried in the code at the moment and you can enable it through code but it's obviously not available. Um, just yet. And 85% of the Note 7s have been returned so far and the people who haven't returned the Note 7s are getting annoying pop-up banner things by Samsung which is good because they should return it and they're being capped at 60% in the US and Android Auto is now running directly on your phone so you're not gonna have to change your car or change your stereo thingy just to basically get Android Auto in your car. You're gonna be able to just put your phone in the dashboard and basically Google is pretty much saying screw you to all of you people who just upgraded your car yesterday for it. And YouTube now supports HDR video for the two people that have HDR monitors at the moment but more monitors and TVs are going to be coming out soon so lots more people are going to be getting it soon so yeah it's good that YouTube added it in and the Hyperloop one was shown off which can go from Abu Dhabi to Dubai in like 12 minutes which is pretty crazy it goes like 500 miles an hour and this is opposed to like the one hour and a half that it took to get from Abu Dhabi to Dubai before so this is obviously really great and yeah I hope this all goes well because it will be pretty great to actually have this thing working and Google has announced their Nespresso cartridges I mean their home bases for $20 and it's available in the Google store right now and Samsung has run a full page ad on the Wall Street Journal the New York Times and Washington Post where they're basically saying sorry for like making our phones blow up and stuff like that and we're not going to do it again and all that sort of stuff. And then at the end, they made this mission self-destruct. And for like the one person that believed me, no, it didn't actually self-destruct, just saying. And moving on to the funny, stupid, or probably weird and a combination of all of them stuff. So I'm not going to be covering a lot of gaming news, if hardly any from on this series, but this is kind of too stupid to not mention. I mean, how did they think that making Windows 10 players not be able to play with Steam players work? Like, why did they think that was actually going to work? So obviously this didn't work because why would it work? I mean... 
people don't buy games from the Windows 10 store. So they're getting refunds and then they're probably just going to go to Steam and buy it because that's where they should have done in the first place. And the Snapchat spectacles were released in these yellow vending machine like things that they called Snapbots. I don't know why they call them Snapbots but whatever. So these Snapbot basically big vending machine things are moving around America. They're causing there to be long Apple like lines and yeah people are just apparently excited to get these. 130 glasses things that have like a camera here or something and they just stream to snapchat I'm not gonna question people anyway, but that's basically it for this episode if you liked it be sure to subscribe And be sure to like this video Which is what I kind of meant to say at the beginning and be sure to leave me a comment down below if you just want to comment about How this episode was and stuff and I'll see you on the next video. Hope you all have a great day Bye